So we'll be talking about what makes up the option price. So let's, talk, let's look at an example and then um, we'll use a spreadsheet to, um, to dissect it down. <laughs> so Apple's current price, um, and today's, Friday, uh, today's Sunday, so this is uh, at close as of uh, previous Friday. So let's write it down. This is our underlying asset. Um, I call this spot price, which means that the price that's immediately traded. So 198.78 is the spot price. Let's take a look at options. Um, so let's pick June 28th as um, our maturity. That's next Friday, so one week. And we're going to look for the call options, and we'll do the put options in a minute. So let's look at this one, $200. So these are the calls. And then um, strike price, let's put 200 right here. And um, a, an option price is actually two parts, if you will. Um, it is traded at $2.05, this specific one. Uh, current bid price is 199, so somebody's actually willing to buy this at 199, and somebody's willing to sell it at 205, and the last traded price is 198. However, what is this two dollars and five cents? How did we come up with this? How did the person who's selling this come up with this? How did the who you know the person who's buying this came up with this? Is the question. So let's go with the sell price, the ask price. That's two dollars and five cents. That's the total price. So the price right now is 205. And um, so this price actually is made up of two parts. The first part is uh, referred to as exercise price or exercise value perhaps, and um, intrinsic value if you will. And then the second part is premium. Right. So obviously, when you look at the price, you see one price, two dollars and five cents. That's it. But how do we come up with this? How does the person who's selling it came up with this is the question. So at two hundred dollars of a strike price, the current price trading price is two dollars and five cents. Now, the intrinsic value is or the ex exercise value is if you were to buy this specific option at 205 with a strike price of 200 and if you were to exercise immediately and buy apple at 200 dollars and then turn around and sell this in the spot market at 198.78 how much of a profit would you have made well you would not make any profit you would have a loss and because it's a option you don't have to do this and you wouldn't do this because you realize a loss. So your exercise value is zero. Therefore, your premium is your total price minus the intrinsic value, which at this point, $2.05. This is, which means that the current trading price is fully made up of premium. Somebody believes that this option is worth two dollar and five cents and that's what they are willing to sell it at complete premium so what does it mean so think of it like this if you buy a baseball just a ball you know go to walmart and buy a baseball uh how much is it four or five dollars i mean i've never bought one so i'm assuming uh but then if a celebrity some uh baseball celebrity signs it, autographs it, then all of a sudden the value of that ball goes up. Well, that's the intrinsic value and then the premium. The intrinsic value is actual resale value of the ball, and then any additional value that you sell it at is the premium. So how much premium would you pay for a specific autograph on that ball, uh, obviously depends on what you could sell it at. So if there's a market who's paying $1,000, and obviously that's 
up to you whether you would agree to sell that or not. So that's the premium. Same thing with an option. It is a supply and demand. Some people are writing it. Some people are buying it. If I'm writing it, there's a minimum price that I, I require to charge to take such a risk. But if you're buying it, then there is a maximum price that you're willing to pay in order to take that risk. And therefore, we meet at an equilibrium where you and I uh, basically agree on a price where I'm willing to write it and willing to take the risk and you are willing to buy it and take the risk. So that's the premium. So let's take an, another example, say 195. In this case, the price or the sale price is 515. And in this case, we actually have a uh, intrinsic value. So if you were to buy this at 195, and then sell at 198.78, then we would realize a $3.78 of the profit. Meaning, let's do this. Meaning, we have a right to buy the underlying asset, in this case, Apple. So if we exercise, we will buy Apple at 195. Then we will sell the recently purchased we just purchased them at 195 and we're going to sell them at 198.78 in the spot market, which is going to give us a $3 and 78 cents of a profit immediately. And, um, that's our intrinsic value. That is the difference between the spot price and the call price or the strike price. Now, in this case, the premium is your total price minus the exercise value in this case, 137. Let's take another one, say 190, selling at 955. In this case, your spot price minus the call, strike price, that's 878. Your price minus the exercise value, 77 cents. Notice the premium is actually going down as, um, you get a distance from the current price level or at the money level. What if it actually goes up? So say 205. So the price is 55 cents. There is no exercise value because you wouldn't buy underlying Apple shares at 205 when the price currently trading at is 198. And therefore the whole thing is a premium. And then if you look at say 210, um, the price is 13 cents and intrinsic value is zero and you are paying complete premium. So let's take a look at um, the put. Again, let's take a, a, a few examples. Uh, let's start with uh, in the money for, uh, for this one. Start with $200. Um, so let me just copy these. Make this a bit bigger so you could see it better. Um, so the current price of this option is 320. And intrinsic value now is you have a right to sell at $200. So if we sell, exercise and sell at 200 and then immediately buy it back at 198.78, you would have an exercise value of $1.22. In which case the premium would be the, the price of the option minus the exercise value 198. So let's take a look at say 195. The price of this is 122. Now, if Apple is trading at 198.78, would you sell at 195? You wouldn't because you now have the right to sell at 198, 195, but you could actually sell it in the spot market for 98, 198, 78. Therefore, there is no reason for you 
to exercise this. And keep in mind, this is an option, so you don't have to. Therefore, this does have no intrinsic value, which makes the entire price that you're paying for this uh, the premium. Okay, 190, the same thing. Um, it's selling at 46 cents, no intrinsic value. And then the entire amount that you're paying is your exercise. So let's take a look at 205. The current trading price is 675. And the exercise value then would be 205 is the price that you have the right to sell at. And if you were to sell at 205 and then buy it back at 198.78, then you have a $6.22 of an exercise value, which means off the $6.75 that you paid for this option, $6.22 is the exercise value, leaving you with a 53 cents of a premium. Let's take a look at 210. The price for this is 11.65. And the exercise value is you have the right to sell at 210 minus 198.78, $11.22. Off the $11.65, 11.22 is the exercise value, leaving with a 43 cents of a premium. So this is dissecting option prices. Now, notice obviously that uh, the premium will be higher if you have a longer maturity. Premium will be higher as closer you are to the current immediate spot price. Uh, premium will be higher if there's high risk. Um, and, and the determination of premium obviously depends on uh, many conditions, which we're gonna, we, we actually cover um, in our lecture notes. So that's it for dissecting option prices.